Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I am focusing on one of my favorite YouTubers. You guys know I love me some Tati Westbrook. She recently uploaded a video and it was how to do your eye makeup like a pro. It was a talk through video. She kind of took us through it step by step, but she really just talked us through. She didn't show us. She didn't give us like the tutorial. So I just took all of her tips. I put them in sequence of events that makes sense. And I just figured we could do my eyes like Tati Westbrook together. And I'm using her Tati Beauty palette. So if you have it and you like this makeup look, then you will be able to achieve it because I'm using her palette, like I just said, three times. I'm showing you guys step by step how you can achieve a Tati approved flawless eye makeup application. So we have a lot to get into, but before we do, I just wanna remind you, if you are not yet subscribed, click the subscribe button and also click the bell button because it's not enough to just be subscribed. YouTube likes to guess as to what it is you wanna watch, but you know, if you know you wanna watch my videos and you don't feel like playing that guessing game with YouTube, then click the bell button and you'll be notified. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my doing my eyes like Tati Westbrook video. She said that she applies an eyeshadow primer liberally to her eye. I use a concealer. I know she uses Painterly Paint Pot. I don't use that, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take my Tarte Tape Shape. She kind of like brushed it all over her eye and like under her eye and like out here. I'm gonna take this Farrah Fluffy Brush. I'm just taking this and I am putting it into the lids and I'm fluffing it out outside, underneath, because this is gonna act as our eyeshadow primer. And I'm bringing it out here. That was a tip that she gave because if you're gonna wing out your shadow, you want your shadow to be laid on over whatever it is you're priming your lid with. You wanna cancel out any darkness. Soothe sequin. I'm gonna take that on a fluffy brush. And she said one shadow is all you really need. You don't need a bunch of shadows to make a beautiful eye look. And I totally agree with Tati. I'm gonna use a couple more shadows to get like the end result, but I wanna show you guys what it looks like with one shadow blended out. You know what I'm saying? Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32, and I'm gonna tap off the excess. She said that she starts on the lid and then fans it out. And then she goes into her crease quickly and then she brings it out to the outer third. So I'm just gonna show you what the lid looks like with one shadow blown out. Blend and buff until your fingers hurt. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that Soothe sequin and just put it on that outer third. So that's my second coat on that outer third of the eye and that's gonna help separate the eyes. So Tati says she has close set eyes. I feel like my eyes are average width apart, but I'm gonna do what she said because these tips really make your eyes look bigger and I wanna make my eyes look bigger. So I'm going under the eye and again, I'm literally just fanning this everywhere. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more on that outer corner, just buff and blend. And it doesn't matter where we're putting it. Like literally you can really get down and dirty, like down and dirty, like literally put this wherever you want. That is her one shadow rule. Buff and blend, double layer on the outer third, dust the shadow everywhere. We hit every single thing. I definitely want to intensify this a little bit more. Smaller brush. I think I'm going to hop into ritual sequin and I'm going to pat this on the outer third of the eye. And we're gonna go back in and we're gonna blend. We're gonna do the whole nine yards. We're gonna blend, blend, blend. But I just wanna make this like a little bit smokier. I wanna bring the drama today. Back in with that brush and I'm just gonna blend it out. And this is me showing you that if you're gonna add another shade to the whole look, you just gotta blend it. And this is just gonna make the outer third of my eye a little bit darker. I do my eyes first too, and I do find that that gives you more room to play and more space to be a little bit more liberal with your blending. So this looks really nice. I do like this tip. I definitely do go outside of the lines, but I would say I don't let myself, I don't allow myself to go out as much as she did in her video, but this is really nice. And again, it gives a really nice haze. 
It's super, super blended, which is really important. So if you have a blending issue, do this. This will really solve all of your problems. She likes the dark shades on the outer portion of the eye. That gives that feline elongated effect. And then she also recommended putting a lighter shade in the inner corner of your eye. So I'm going to go in with Aura Sequin on my finger. And I'm just going to pat this on the inner third of my eye. And this is, again, going to pull apart the eyes. Playing with the light, pulling the eyes apart. It's all about blending. I'm going to go in with that brush and just blend that crease a little bit and then I just want to make sure that my eyes are even and where I place the shadow this wasn't one of her tips this is my tip but I'm sure Tati would agree with me and I'm just gonna make the outer corner even and then with what's ever left on the brush I'm just gonna blend So Tati said to take a pencil brush and I'm going to dip this into matte ritual, tap off the excess, keep this to the lash line. So kind of like drawing this on like a liner and just buffing it into the upper and lower lash line. You guys know I'm all about like a thicker lash line. So I'm kind of just going about this like I'm applying a liner and then smudging it upper and lower lash line. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect them. Not that she said to connect them, but I like to connect it for my eye shape. And then she said to go in with a little bit of a fluffier pencil brush with a dab more of a matte ritual. Blend this out. Take a little bit more of that aura shade. I'm going to tilt my head back and I'm going to stamp this a little bit in there. I just want to reinforce the lightness. And then I'm just going to go in. I'm not going to take any additional product. I'm going to go in with this fluffy brush and just fluff that brown out one more time. Take a liner. This is the Smudge Kajal Eyeliner by Stila in the shade Espresso. And I'm just going to keep that to my lash line. So I just kept that to my lash line. I didn't extend it out at all, but I'm going to go back and I'm just going to make sure it's like really in between those lashes. I'm going to go in the waterline as well. I want this look to be a little bit more sultry. So I'm going back in with that pencil brush and I'm just smudging this line out. Okay. Then she said to go in with a liquid liner. I'm going to be using this for the first time. My sister raves about this. So this is the wet and wild mega liner liquid eyeliner in black. Start in the middle and then thinly trace the line of your eye out. But I think I'm going to wing this. Didn't say to wing it, but I want to wing it. So let's wing it. Um, what? This eyeliner is awesome. I just have to say, it's not really laying over that coal liner from Stila that I went in with, but that wing, that wing was amazing. Tati's next tip was to heat up your lash curler. So I have my handy Tweezerman lash curler that I love so much. And this is a trick I have never done before. So I'm a little nervous. Honestly, the last thing I need is to singe off all of my lashes, but for the sake of this video and more importantly for you guys and Tati, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna take my hair dryer, my Remington hair dryer, and pray I don't burn my lashes off. And she said she likes to hold it up and like an angle like that and then twist up and do that. So that's exactly what I did. Those are pretty lifted. Can you see the difference? Those are very lifted in comparison to these, which I haven't touched yet. Look at these lashes, those are freaking lifted. I like this, this little trickety doo da. And then she gave us some tips for mascara. Tilt head back and pull wand towards nose. It's gonna help them stand up straight. And then I'm gonna pull them on the outer third out to accentuate my cat eye, which she also mentioned to do. Push the mascara towards the nose. And then I'm gonna take the outer third and just pull it out, like she said. That I don't love. Holy. God, do I even need falsies with these tricks? So let's bypass. I'm not even gonna put these, these on today. I'm gonna take this angled brush and I'm gonna pick up Memory Matte. 
which is Tati's Black. Make sure that the brush is coated evenly. And then she said to stamp off the excess aggressively. I'm, I'm very good at being aggressive, Tati. I really, really am. She also likes to stamp it on the back of her hand to really push the product into the bristles. And then she said to just stamp over the liner. And she said that this is a really good trick to hide falsies, which we didn't put any falsies on today. And I feel like I should have done this first, but I really thought I was gonna put falsies on until I saw my lashes take shape. And honestly, if I can bypass lashes, I will bypass them. This is gonna help our liner stay in place all day. Like, I mean, that looks so much better than this one. How much more pigmented is this liner than this one? I might go ahead and stamp my liner for the rest of my life now. I'm going to remove any excess makeup that has fallen on my face, and there's actually quite a lot of fallout. I'm gonna remove that with a Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipe, and I'm also gonna shape this shadow according to how I want it to be around my eye. Wrap this around my finger. And I'm just gonna shape this. And I'm also gonna go over my brows because I wanna take any of that shadow out of my brows that may have floated in there. Story glitter. Taking a little bit of that on my finger right here. Start almost halfway up, so right here. And I'm just gonna tap this all over my lid. These glitters in her palette are bananas. She then went ahead and mentioned a metallic liner that she likes to put in your waterline. She recommended getting a waterproof metallic coal liner. Like, I don't think this would be like my shade of all shades. I think I would like maybe like a deeper plum or maybe like a coppery metallic, but I'm gonna use this one today, Gemstoned by Marc Jacobs. And I'm gonna put this underneath my pupil to show you guys. She said to just put it right underneath the pupil to really draw some attention to that eye. It's definitely pretty, I do like it, but I'm gonna go in with her next technique, which is kind of like bringing it underneath the eye. So I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. Just because I like more of like an outlined all the way around eye. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm gonna finish off the face. To apply my face today, I used Tati's new Blendifuls. Here's the big Blendiful, the baby Blendiful. If you are interested in how this worked out for me, because honestly, it was shocking how this worked out for me. Uh, check out that video. I will link it up here. I will put it down below. I will put everything else that is on my face down below in the description box, as I always do. And then let's just go ahead and finish off with my last tip that I have. I'm pretty sure this is my last tip that I have from Tati, which is applying mascara to the lower lash line. I'm going to take this LA Colors mascara. I just like this wand. And I'm going to take off the excess at the tip because Tati mentioned that a lot of the times we leave excess mascara on the tip and then that's when mistakes happen and then we chalk it up to oh this mascara sucks when really it's just like just clean just clean your applicator it's really not that big of a deal go in with a back and forth motion on my lower lash line flip the mascara wand so that it's pointy coming at your eye and then just bunch a couple of the lashes together and that gives you like a sexy like open wide-eyed like doe eye look and I really really love this trick I have been doing this trick a lot more ever since Tati had Scott Barnes on her channel because this is a Scott Barnes trick so after I did my face the only thing that I did to my eyes was I put the aura matte her aura matte shade in my inner corners and underneath my brow bone and this is the finished eye makeup I have to say I really love how this came out I love the wing I think my favorite tips of Tati's we're definitely setting your liner. I think that that made such a big difference. It just kind of takes any of the shininess away. It makes the wing look a little bit more bold and just like deeper, darker, sexier, edgier. So that was by far my favorite one. Doing your eyes first is always the biggest tip that anyone can give you, especially if you are learning really how to blend, if you're just really learning how to do any kind of eye look. I find personally when I do my face first and then I do my eyes, I don't spend as much time blending because I'm so afraid afraid of getting any fallout on my face because I put that time and I put that effort into the base of my face so the less 
last thing that I want to do is ruin the base of my face with just some shadow that decided to just fling all over because either I forgot to tap off the excess or I was just fluffing it a little bit too aggressively. But with this technique, you can be as aggressive as you want. You can blend until the cows come home and it's just going to give you like a really seamless, beautiful eye. I mean, you really can't tell where my eyeshadow stops and where it starts. It's kind of just one with my face. All in all, I really love these techniques and I think that anyone can benefit from Tati's tips, whether you're beginner, intermediate, or an advanced makeup artist. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what do you think about these tips? How do you like this makeup look? What were some of your takeaways from this video? What were some of your takeaways from Tati's video? Anything you guys want to talk about, leave it down below in the comments section. I would love to interact. So I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.